Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I wanna to show you um, how to do your design in Design Space so that you have registration marks so that you can layer vinyl easily. So the example that I'm using is this heart, I mean, this cat, this cute cat with heart. <laughs> it's on Creative Fabrica. Um, I have a discount code for you. If you wanna try out Creative Fabrica's membership, it is a dollar for the first month, and if you don't like it, cancel within the first month, and all you pay is a dollar. But if you happen to like it, when you're actually registering for this, make sure you use the code, the useless crafter 30, because um, if you stick with it, then um, as it renews, it's 30% off every month. But you have to use the, the code when you first sign up for it. So just throwing it out there. Um, okay, so cute cat with heart once you have it you want to download it and then we're going to upload into design space i've already done that but i want to show you oops don't mind me okay here it is so here it is done right because it has these two little circles up there those are my registration marks so that we can line it up so that you get a perfectly placed decal now the funny thing is I cut this two times because one, I was gonna do a reel, so you know, so I could do it in 30 seconds, show you how how it's done, and it goes perfectly. And then the full blown, you know, video where I'm showing you how to do it step by step. Oh my gosh, I, I think I've made, there's a mistake in every step, but I showed you how to overcome it. <laughs> And better that I make the mistake than you, right? All right, so let's talk about this. Let's go to upload. <clears throat> and here is the file. So let's insert the image. And as with, you know, a lot of files, you never know like how it's coming over. Okay, so let me make this smaller for a second. Um, let's make this cat way smaller, right? So let's say you're doing a sticker that's going to be about this big. This one is not that big. This one was, oops. Oh, good, good Lord. <laughs> Three inches. So let's do the same just so that we have consistency. I'm going to grab the whole thing, make it three inches. Now, um as with a lot of designs and i'm going to delete this just so that we don't have a lot going on here okay um i always look to see what is all part of the design so it looks like we have you know the the black parts um which i don't think we need these because we have a full black background so i'm going to delete this Oops. So you can grab this, hit the shift key and grab all your black. And I'm gonna delete that, we don't need that. There. All right, so we have our pink pieces. Now, do you see the little dimples on the, or the, I don't know what those things are, those little dots on the cheek? I knew they were gonna be too small. I cut it and then I lost some dots and so it didn't even make it onto my actual image that we ended up putting on the thermos. So it's up to you, like you can always make that judgment call, but I'm just gonna delete it from here. It's still a pretty stinking kitty cat um, without those little dots. The little footprints totally made it. All right, let's look, there's our black layer, our white layer. Now these little marks, gonna delete it. No one's even gonna know. <laughs> so I'm gonna delete that. Okay, so now we've got everything. Um, all right, so what you wanna do is basically, we're gonna add two little dots. And I added them right here. So what happens is each layer, so our backmost layer is our black layer, right? Um, if we put down the two dots, and then we line it up with everything else for all the colors. Then as you put the colors down, you just line up the dots first and then everything will fall into place. It's so much easier than trying to like, you know, keep moving your image around. Um, so anyway, that's what we're doing. So, and I wanted to make it really easy on myself by having two dots. And I'm gonna say this, 
Um, good thing I had two dots because one of my dots ended up shifting. So it would have been, I was going to say completely useless, <laughs> but useless in a really bad way. All right. So I have my two dots here, right? Um, I'm going to make these two dots black. Okay. Then I'm going to duplicate the two dots. Let's move them out of the way for a second. These two dots, I'm going to group, okay? I'm going to group that. Um, actually, I'm just going to group it for now. These two dots I'm going to do next is I'm going to do the white layer. So I'm going to make them white. And I'm going to group this as well, okay? Now, I'm going to, and then I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm making all my colors, right? So here is going to be my red layer. Then I need one more set that's going to be my pink layer. Okay, so I have all my dots. What I want to do is I'm going to grab all my dots right now. So I'm going to grab the group, hit the shift key and grab this one, this one, and this one. And I'm going to go to align and I'm going to make sure that they're all going to be on top of each other perfectly. Okay. So they're all right here. I'm going to move them down here. And then now I'm going to attach each set of colors. So my pink one, I'm, I've clicked on it, right? I'm going to scroll, scroll down <laughs> and then I'm going to hit the shift key and I'm going to grab this. So my pinks all, oh, that's not what I wanted. Hold on. There, I want to grab pinks here. Okay go up, hit the shift key and grab my pink circles and I'm going to attach it. So watch what happens. Um, we'll do it at the end. We'll watch the, the thing at the end, okay? So now let's go and grab our next color. Oh, did we, you know what? I'm sorry, let me undo that. We didn't ungroup everything. That's why it went crazy on me. So let's go and grab this, we're going to ungroup. Good mistake to make, right? Because you may have done that. <laughs> All right. So let's go and grab our pink now. So all of our pink pieces, scroll up, hit the shift key, grab this pink, and now we're going to attach. Oh my gosh, it still didn't ungroup everything yet. Hold on. Let's undo that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's just grab this and ungroup. Okay. I think it all ungrouped now. Okay. Now let's grab our pink and our pink up here. Yes. And attach. Perfect. So now when I move this out, see my two circles are there. It's going to cut out exactly like this. Now I'm going to grab my next set. I'm going to grab my red and scroll down, hit the shift key and grab my red and attach. So now when I go and I line up my circles, right, my image is perfect with each other. Okay, let's do the next one. Um, so we need to grab our black with our, oh, I need to do it twice. Okay, hold on. Let's grab our white. So you see how our black, the reason why I said that is there's two blacks. There's a black background and then the black that goes on top are the eyes and the little mouth and the little nose. So I need to make an extra set. Um, let's grab our white here, hit the shift key and grab our white here and attach. And we'll move it out. Okay, so now this little black over here. Um, let's see, let's do this. Let's grab this and duplicate. And we'll move it over to the side for a second. Okay, so on this one, 
we want this and we want this and we want to attach it. So this is together. This one we're just going to remove. On this one, we want to attach this with what's left. Um, is it this one? Yep. Okay. I'm going to talk about this one in a second, but this is what's going to happen. We're going to cut out this one first. This is our bottom layer. Then you're going to put the white layer on top. So let me align or arrange, send to the front. Okay. You're going to line up the two circles. And when you do that, it will put down your white perfectly. Okay. Then we're going to line up the red, arrange, send to the front. Line up your red circles over your white and black circles. And that will go down. Then you're going to line up your pink ones, arrange, send to the front. And they're going to go on top. A little bit hard to do with my mouse. Okay, then this one we're going to arrange, send to the front. And then this is going to go on top. You're going to have a perfectly layered design. Okay. All right. So we're going to move this aside. Um, while I was doing this whole thing, so I'm doing a whole journey of HTV this, um, this month in August. Granted, this is not HTV, but it was a good lesson to show the difference between HTV and adhesive vinyl. So that's kind of why it's part of the project. Um, the other reason is because the whole theme is back to school. So it's going on all things back to school for your kids. So I'm getting my daughter ready. This is the cinch bag that I mentioned earlier. Um, look how cute that is. So this is HTV, it's totally on the cinch bag, um, and it's this design right here. So the, the cat monogram is also from Creative Fabrica. I will make sure to link it for you. The C is just a, a monogram font from Monogram It. So it's an app on my phone. Um, but what I like is, uh, you know, if you don't wanna put your, your kid's name everywhere, right? We can do things that, um, make it easy for them to find their stuff. So if someone else has a cinch bag like this, no one has a rainbow cat monogram <laughs> with a C in the middle. So, all right, I wanna show you really quickly though how easy it is. So this C is all one letter, right? But I made it different colors. The way I did it was this way. Um, there are four different lines and I wanna make it four different colors. So I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna make sure I have four copies, one copy for each color, okay? So I'm gonna grab these two and duplicate it. Then once you have your four, then we're gonna to go to each one. So here's the first one and I'm gonna contour. So contour is on your bottom right-hand corner. I love contour because it's so easy. I'm gonna hide all. When you click hide all, it doesn't actually hide all, it hides all but one. Because if it hit everything, the whole image would disappear, okay? So hide all hides all three, leaves me the one, so this is what I have left. I have the big outer C, so I'm gonna change that to, let's just do purple. The next one, go to contour. You can do it a number of ways. You can hide all again, but this time know that you already have the big one. I want the second one. I don't want the big one. And there you have that one. So I'm gonna change the color just so we're not getting confused. Okay, here is the third ring. I'm gonna go to contour. You, like I said, you can do it a couple ways. You can deselect from here. You can deselect this one, deselect this one, and deselect the middle, the little one. So you're left with the third ring. So you could do it that way. 
and I'll change that to orange. Then the last one, we can go to contour. I sometimes don't like selecting it because sometimes my arrow doesn't connect um, doesn't pick the right one. So I actually, you can click over here, you can deselect this one, this one, this one, and leave you the little one. So those are all the different ways that you can do it, okay? So then I'm gonna do this one a different color, okay? And then all of these go in. So when you go to iron it on, I ironed on the outer cap first, then the big the big C and then that way the big C tells me where to put the other C's and it came out so stinking cute um, I absolutely love it but I wanted to show you that because the design space portion is super fast um, I don't want to make two videos for it so all right let me know your questions and um, you know with the whole HTV thing we're I'm collecting questions all throughout the month there's going to be one course where it's going to be a live on Instagram and I'm going to have an expert HTV person from the polytape side so they will answer all your questions it's not just me doing my own research and you know <clears throat> based on my interpretation this is coming from polytape who own, you know, manufactures HTV. So it is like the experts. <laughs> so any questions that you have, post them. I will be collecting them and we'll be, you know, we'll make sure that we get them answered correctly. All right, I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much.